It's Monday and I'm back at the eatery. Paint Blue is my favorite place to be. I'm starting in a new week with some new paint jobs. This crazy pack behind me arrived last week at the eatery paint job. And what I can tell you is that the pack traveled a really long distance. I had to black out the address fields because the pack is part of this official video, but there are still some more interesting informations on the pack. There's written my name on it because this is for me and it was sent to Germany. We are here in Saxony in the middle of Germany. And what I also found is a track logo. So I think there will be a track frame in it. And what I can tell you is that I currently know that there are track parts and a track frame in the box because I opened it last Friday and I prepared the frame and all the parts in this box. But the really interesting information is a Canadian post stamp, Canada post. This pack comes from Canada. It was sent from Mike. He wants me to do a new paint job, a new design on his frame. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much for sending me your cycle frame. And what I also found was the number 13. So I hope this is not a sign for bad luck, Mike, if you are superstitious. I don't know what this 13 means. I like to open the box and I like to show you the bike. It's a track modern frame as mentioned, primed and prepared for the new design. I've also a bar stem combo in the box. And of course the fork and the seat post, all parts prepared. And what I'd like to show you is that it's absolutely no problem to send me also international passes if you are interested in my designs and if you are searching for a new design on your bike frame. What I will do with this frame is a secret. No, it's no secret. I will grab my laptop and then I like to discuss and I like to show you what I will do with Mike's frame. Mike sent me an email and in this email he wrote, I was looking to have the bike painted base white with red lettering with a large Canadian maple leaf across the head tube, not static waving. The large Canadian maple leaf also on the seat tube also waving. I like to be the bike a Canadian tribute in red and white, please send your swords. So Mike, I think that can be an interesting design and an interesting paint job and you can follow me during the next days or if you watch this video during the next minutes and see what I will do with your bike frame. He wrote me also, I've been following your custom work for a couple of years. Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate it. And I think it's about time to have one of your designs for my own, Mike. So Mike, I'm absolutely appreciated to do a Canadian style bike and send it back to Canada for you. But what I have to do first, I have to inform myself about Canada because I'm German. So let's open Google and let's type in Canada and let's see what happens. What we have here are a lot of Canadian flags as a graphic and also waving Canadian flags as your wishes, Mike. And let's see if we can find some other flags. Here are a lot of maple leaves combined to a Canadian flag. Also very interesting, but I think that will be too much for your cycle frame. That is also a nice flag. It's clear with some nice shadows in it. Here are also some alternate flags, also waving. So I think I will pick some of these flags and I will see if they match your frame and the geometry of your frame. But what I have to do also is I have to inform myself about other artists and what they have done. So let's check out if we can find some Canadian artwork. I found some helmets, some car helmets. I think they are for car racing. And also a time trail helmet. It's done for the Ironman Canada, I think. It's very graphic with no shadows, so I think that's not the right helmet. Let's see if we can find some other stuff. 
Uh, I think that's also a helmet. Yes, it has a ventilation. It's a car helmet for car racing, but sadly, it's sadly too much shadowed on the right areas and also on the maple leaf. So I think that's not what I'm looking for. So I will pick one of these flags and I will check if the flag matches your frame. But I have a great idea. Let's do some kind of time warp like Marty McFly, the back in the future. And I like to show you the ready painted frame like it will appear in 10 or maybe 11 days. I don't know how long it will take. So let's do the time warp and let's check out the ready painted frame. What do you think about the frame? Do you like this artwork? And if you like the frame, stay tuned, follow me during the video and you can see all the steps necessary for this cycle design. So Mike, stay tuned, that is your bike and I hope you like it as it is. And I will check out also the other parts. There are a lot of small parts and then I will start painting the bike frame. These are all parts of the track Madon. Most of them are spacers and they will be mounted underneath the bar stem combo. It took me hours to mask all these little parts, but that's what I do because I only paint the outside of these spacers so it's easy to mount them between the bar stem combo and the frame. What I have to do is I have to sand all the parts again put them back in place and then I can also paint all these small parts. The first color on these small spacers will be a bright red and I will use a small airbrush. It looks a bit like the noisy cricket a gun from the movie Man in Black Will Smith gets from Tommy Lee Jones. This gun has a crazy boost. My airbrush has not such a crazy boost but it will spray exactly the red color on these small parts. Same job as every time I have to load the spray gun with the white base coat and then I can start spraying the frame. Don't forget to wear your safety gear such as a paint suit and a spray mask when you work with professional equipment and professional spray guns. Let's start with the custom painting. The frame is ready primed and colored with this nice white base color. I have already masked the head tube, top tube and the down tube with the Canadian flag. And what I will do now is I will mask the rest of this frame. Then I will use two different shades of red, a nice and bright red and also a darker red for the shadows. But at first I have to mask some areas that I won't paint with the red color to avoid overspray in these areas. And when all this masking is done, I will show you some of the painting steps, how I will paint these two shades of red on the frame. frame is masked and I can start spraying some of the color. In this video it takes only some minutes to apply these graphics on the frame but in real life it takes maybe three to four hours to create this graphic with a graphic software to make a cut file to apply the masking on the frame to take the measurements 
correctly. And when all these things are done, you can start spraying. But spraying is not the major part of such a custom painting. The major part is every time the preparation of the frame and the preparation of the graphics, of course. I'm starting with the bright red and the full color. And after I filled all these areas that are not masked, I will start spraying the shadows with the darker red. Let's start with the fork. I will paint all these areas completely in the bright red and then I will spray some of the darker shadows in these areas. Welcome back at the paint booth. Yesterday I showed you how I sprayed the red areas on the fork and the frame behind me. And here you can see that the fork is already painted, but maybe you wonder why the frame is still in the same condition I showed you yesterday with all the masking around the red areas. And the reason why I painted the fork completely is a kind of reference. Sometimes it's a good idea to use a test sheet or a small part for a kind of reference for the colors or a kind of test. So you can see how the colors work together, how the shadows turn out after the clear coat is applied. And when you're ready, you can start painting all the parts. And when there's a need to change something, you have to change also the small parts and not the complete frame set. This saves time during the custom painting process. But I'm happy with the result of this fork. I like the waving of this flag part and I will do the same on the frame. Yesterday I showed you the two red tones and I also added two tones of gray, a light gray and a dark gray for some more shadowing. And now I will fill my gun with the darker red and start in the same way like I did the fork yesterday. And when all the shadows are applied, I will also add some clear coat over the areas where the flex painted on the frame. And then I can show you the complete custom painting of this Track Madon frame set. Let's have a look at the frame. The big Canadian flag on the front end is ready painted and all shadows are in place. And next I will paint the smaller Canadian flag on the seat tube in the same way I have painted this big one. The red areas first and then I will also add these shadow lines to make it look like a waving flag. And for the smaller flag I prepared a stencil for the seat tube. This is the stencil and in the stencil I added also some markers. 
With these markers, the application of the stencil is very easy. You don't need any measuring, only the right points. And this saves a lot of time during custom painting. So you only have to put on the stencil and the left and the right side will be the same. And when I applied the stencil, I will also protect the complete seat tube with some masking paper. And then I can start spraying the red color. And there it is, the Canadian flag. Let's remove the masking tape and let's check out if it looks good. Here you can see the two tones of red, the light red and also the darker red and the two gray tones, the darker gray for the shadow underneath the flag and the light gray for the waving in the flag. What I will do now is I will add some more maple leaves to the seat tube and also the track logo on the down tube. And when all these steps are done, I have to clear coat the frame to protect it and to get a glossy finish. But before I show you the complete painted frame, I will also show you some more steps of the lettering on the down tube. I will spray the track logo in the same way I have sprayed the flag. I mask the logo typing on the down tube and also the areas around this logo to avoid overspray. Now I will spray the red color, then I will remove this masking tape and I will remask the single letters to spray a kind of shadow underneath the first three letters of this track logo. And there it is, the track logo. The red K looks a little bit invisible on this red ground, but to change this, I will mask all letters again, as I mentioned before. And then I can spray a shadow in this area, and with this shadow, the K will stand out from the ground and it will be visible like all the other letters. I will apply the masking on the letters, and then I can spray the shadow in dark gray. Let's check the Ready Spray track logo. I have to remove these stencils and then you can see the complete logo with the shadow underneath the letters. Now the letters have some kind of 3D effect. It looks a bit 3D and you can see also the K is visible. Okay, that's it. Now you have seen how I painted this track mod on frame set and I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, leave your comments and questions in the comment section below and I will try to answer some of them. Please let me also know what you think about the frame and the design behind me. And can we do this crazy electric lightning thing again? Oh yes, we can! Look at this! That is crazy! That's what I like! That's so crazy! Okay, if you're interested in cycle design, please check out also my other videos at the webpage. Thanks for watching! Thank you and goodbye!